Hey boys and girls, do you remember last week where we talked about Deborah? Seems like there are a lot of battles going on in this part of the Bible. Well, we're going to read about another battle today, and this is from Judges chapter 6 and 7, and it's about Gideon's battle. God's people kept disobeying his rules. Oh my goodness, that sounds like us, doesn't it? You know, we're all sinners, and we do things we shouldn't do, right? Well, God allowed their enemies to take all their food away. Oh no. And again, the Israelites turned to God for help. And again, God answered their prayers. Oh my goodness. So, you know what? God's people keep turning away from him, but he listened to their prayers when they cried out to him. God chose a man named Gideon to help his people. God sent an angel to Gideon. You are a mighty warrior, the angel said. You will save God's people. And Gideon said, but I'm from a family that isn't rich or important. Then Gideon prayed to God, I need a sign from you. I will put some wool on the floor. Tomorrow, if the wool is wet and the ground is dry, I will believe you. The next morning, the wool was wet and the ground was dry. But Gideon wanted another sign. He said to God, now, if the wool is dry and the ground is wet, I will be sure you have chosen me. And the next morning, God made the wool dry and the ground wet. Now Gideon was sure. He said, God, I will do whatever you say. Oh, now listen to this. Over 30,000, 30,000, that's a lot, of men wanted to join Gideon's army. That's too many, God said. He showed Gideon how to win with only 300 men. Oh my goodness, 300 is a lot less than 30,000. That's hard for us to think about, but it's a lot smaller number. The plan sounded strange, but Gideon trusted God. During the night, Gideon and his men surrounded the enemy camp. They blew trumpets and smashed clay jars. They waved burning torches in the air and their enemies were frightened. This must be a huge army, they thought. So they ran away and God's people won. Boys and girls, this is just another example of how, you know, when things seem impossible and we think, how in the world this is, what this plan doesn't even make sense. It may not make sense to us, but it makes sense to God. And we need to remember to trust him and believe in him because he loves us and he knows what's best for us. So let's go to the Lord in prayer now. Are you ready? Let's get our praying hands warmed up. Get them warmed up really good. One, two, three three. Dear God, thank you so much for all that you do for us. And Lord, we just pray that you help us to trust you and to know, Lord, that you have our best interest at heart, that you love us. And Lord, we just pray that you'll help us to trust you and to do whatever it is that you call for us to do, just like Gideon did. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, friends. See you next week.